Hey guys, Cranky Kaz here. And the Sherpster. We're very excited because it is the finale of HBO's The Last of Us. We're on episode nine of nine, Look for the Light. Super excited for this one. Sky is telling us that Anna places her trust in a lifelong friend. So I think we're going to see some stuff with Ellie's mum mom and Marlene and what happened with all of that. Uh, so we're going to be seeing Ashley Johnson. Yes, because we haven't seen her through the whole thing. And I must admit, was wondering when she would actually appear, when they'd actually do some backstory. And yeah, and of course, we didn't see anything in the game. So it's as new for us as it is for you guys who haven't played the game. So I'm super excited about that. Yep, shall me too. We, shall we watch it? Let's go for it. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. I didn't want to jump in too late. Oh my god, it's Ellie already. It's, I mean, Ashley. Ah! Pregnant. Yep. What is she running from? Infected by infected. the sound of it. We haven't seen that much infected, really, when you think about it. And obviously those who are familiar with the game hear the voice straight away yeah that's why i said oh my god it's ellie yeah because it, it is just ellie's yeah, voice I mean, but obviously we've always known ellie or ashley johnson as ellie yeah but bella ramsey has also made ellie her own as well their own very true it's me it's me anyone this looks like the farmhouse in part two doesn't it do you not think it looks like the farmhouse that Elliot's I'm like? I'm trying to remember. Oh, yes, that one. Yes. Oh, shit. Waters are broken. We didn't get any warnings about scenes of childbirth, though, so... No. I think you might be right, though. Do you think she gets infected? Maybe. Oh, not the time. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I mean, is this a world you would really want to bring uh, children into? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Fair play. Shit, she's given birth whilst attacking an infected. That is super realistic. Wow. Oh, shit. Okay, so she gets infected, but umbilical cord still attached. Hmm. That is, that is either some super realistic fucking, that is like a newborn baby. What the hell? Oh. I just want to wrap that baby up in a blanket. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. You said super realistic, but I'm sorry, babies do not come out that clean. <laughs> no. <laughs> But that is an actual baby. Yes, very true. And a new one at that. Okay, wow. Jesus fucking Christ. Thrown us straight into it there. Blimey. So is that how you would say you thought it went down in terms of why Ellie's immune? That's definitely the sort of fan theory hmm. that I saw about. I have never really considered it, but that would make sense. Looking that, at all of that. That her mum was infected and that's why Ellie survives. Maybe. Or, or not survives, but that's why Ellie's like immune because she's got some of the infected in her maybe that would be a way of explaining how she is immune rather than just a random you know just a mutation so this must be them finding her it's the same director as the last episode which the last episode was fucking amazing yep. so hello marlene do you think they're specifically looking for her i don't know like were they friends before the outbreak i can't or remember before this moment i guess Anna? 
yeah, they obviously know each other. She's gonna. She's worried about Tony, isn't she? Is that yep. why she was holding the knife to her neck? We were delayed getting out of the zone. She's hungry. She needs to be fed, and I. I didn't want to nurse her. Oh. Can understand why. But Blumenek, how long has baby been before waiting? I was a bit before. Not true. But there you go. Take her with you to Boston. Find someone to bring her up and make sure that she's safe. I can't do that. I don't want you to give her this. The knife. Hmm. Her name is Ellie. How long have we known each other? Our whole lives. So you pick her up right now. And then you kill me. I can't kill you. Oh, you can't, you can't <laughs> leave her. Please! Marlena! You can't leave her. Get someone else to do it? No, she's gonna do oh, okay. it. Okay. She's gonna do it. Cover her ears. Didn't do a very good job of covering her ears, did you, mate? I mean, she went in and just did it with no hesitation, but I mean, that must have been so what? bloody difficult to do, though, if you've been friends your whole yeah, life. Yeah, but what are you going to do? That's the easiest way to do it. It is very it? true. Just, well, yep. if you've got to do it, you've got to do it. Yep. So Ashley Johnson had a lot shorter time yep. in the episode, unless we get any flashbacks. I love the fact they brought in original cast members to play a part, though. Yeah. And I must admit, I'm not going to say anything just yet. Ellie! Do you hear me? No. What? I found this in there. Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. Oh, cool. Have you ever played this? Boggle! Boggle. Boggle. Mm -mm. She's... She's still traumatised, yeah. isn't she? Something, it would be this. Well, all right. She's changed. I'm getting close. Mm -hmm. Hospital that way may be the one we're looking for. Got it. Yeah, you remember the, the transition between the end of the David section and then to this point in yeah, the game. Yeah, and she's looking at the deer. Isn't yeah, she? And, he, and he's trying to talk to her. She's just and she's spaced not, out. Yeah, exactly. I want. I had a feeling they'd do something like that. He's doing all right considering his uh, recent injury, mm. which he now seems to be well, is this completely the, healed. Is this the spring? He had a guitar Fruit. in that RV. So it's been a while. It's all smashed up, but got me thinking. Maybe I should find one. I haven't played in forever. In fact, I was thinking maybe I could teach you. I bet you'd be great at it. <laughs> yeah, she's... You want to learn how to play guitar? Ellie? Hmm? Oh, yeah. <sighs> That'd be great. It feels like he's a bit more aware. You know, he's, he's coming across as being a bit more aware that she's not. 100%. Than in the game. Yeah, in the game, it sort of didn't feel like... He really registered it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Cut through that building to get around that stuff, find a skyscraper, go up on the ground. Yeah. Uh, actually, this <laughs> time I was thinking we'd blast our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that RV back there. Really? No, so we're going to cut through that building, <laughs> find a skyscraper, go up and look around. He's trying to lighten the mood, isn't he? But mm. Talk about bad luck. Military drops bombs. Not one of them hits the building you're trying to demolish. <laughs> no way up. But it's pretty knackered inside, so yeah, let's walk around it, shall we? It might collapse at any moment. If I get you up there, you can drop that ladder down. Maybe we go through that way. Come on, I'll give you a boost. What's she looking at? Okay. Yeah, fine. Just you kind of seem extra quiet. Today, she wasn't looking so. at anything. Okay. No. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Did you hear what I? Yeah. Boost. Got it. Yeah. Definitely seems more aware. Like I was saying before. One, two. Uh. Haven't seen too much of this, have we? No. Nope. In the series, whereas it's quite a feature in the game. Oh, 
<laughs> it's this moment. Was this the museum bit where she does that? Uh, well, they actually go into a, uh, a sort of a rail yeah. station or a tram station or something. Oh, and it has posters for the, mu uh, the zoo or the museum? Something, something like that, I think. But yeah, she runs off. Yeah, OK, I know which bit we're in. <gasps> there it is. They had to do this moment. Of course they did. They, they weren't going to cut this out. It's scary. Hurry up. Come on. Well, I'll have some of that. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's even more impressive considering all of that will be CGI and green screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that was a very well-trained giraffe. No, I reckon, I reckon all <laughs> yeah, of that bit, it will be. including that background, is going to be CGI. Yeah, and almost certainly. Okay. Which makes it just amazing how good they are as actors yep. to just give us these moments. If these two don't win awards for this, yeah. it'll be a major injustice because they have both been fantastic the whole way through. So, is it everything you hoped for? Got its ups and downs. You can't deny that view. you. <laughs> Look, I don't know exactly where this hospital is. Yeah, we'll find it. Sure. It's just, maybe there's nothing bad out there, but so far there's always been something bad out there. We're still here, though. I know. I'm only saying there's a risk. We don't have to do this. I just, I want you to know that. What do you mean? What else are we supposed to do? Nothing. We just go back to Tommy's. We forget about the whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything I've done. It can't be for nothing. I know you mean well. I know you want to protect me. You have. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's. Sheep Ranch. The moon. I'll follow you anywhere you go. But there's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. So without spoilers for the folks who haven't played the game, does she know mm -hmm. or not? That's my question. I still don't know from that conversation. I still can't tell. Is this a Fedra thing? No. Army. They put these places up all around. The first few days after the outbreak, emergency medical camps. Obviously didn't last. They had me in one just like this. With Sarah? No, she was gone already. Oh. So what was wrong with you? Just for this. Ah, the guy who shot and missed. I figured that would have happened later. Second day. Well, I've got to hand it to the Army people. They were way better at stitching you up than I was. It was me. I was the guy who shot and missed. Oh. Yeah. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. That makes so much sense. And I wasn't scared either. I was ready. I couldn't have been more ready. Well, when he said before in the game, like, it's not taking the easy yeah. way out doing that. Mm. It's not easy. I went to pull the trigger. I, I flinched. Still don't know why. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you all this... I know why you're telling me all this. Yeah, I reckon you do. So time heals all wounds, I guess. It wasn't time that did it. Bless. Well, I'm glad that... that didn't work out. Me too. Give him a hug. Yeah. I think I think he needs a hug. <laughs> we should probably get you need a hug, here. don't you? <laughs> Basically, Ellie saved him. Yeah. You know what I'm in the mood for? What? Shitty puns. Oh. <laughs> People are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> 
Too soon? No, it's top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this one. Room rocks taste better than earth rocks. Why? Because they're meteors. Oh. <laughs> that was actually good. That's a zero out of all ten. All right, all right. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, you idiot. That's a three out of ten. <laughs> He's starting to grin, five. though. Five out oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Who are you fuckers? Are we basically skipping... We're, We're they're skipping doing it differently. The, they're, they're doing, doing it differently. differently. Yeah. Skipped all the bloaters and all the infected. Yep. People are going to be mad about that. There it is, the Firefly logo. Welcome to the Fireflies. Easy. Oh, you got hit pretty hard. Patrol didn't know who you were. Where's Zoe? She wasn't hurt. Not even a scratch. She's mostly worried about you. Where is she? We lost half our crew crossing the country. I had five men whose only job was to protect me. I still almost got killed. We all owe you. Just take me to her. I can't. She's being prepped for surgery. What surgery? Our doctor, he thinks that the cordyceps in Ellie has grown with her since birth. Why is she in surgery? It produces a kind of chemical messenger. It makes normal cordyceps think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's immune. He's going to remove it from her, multiply the cells in a lab, produce those chemical messengers, and then we can give it to everyone. He thinks it could be a cure, Joel. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. It does. Find someone else. There is no one else. We didn't tell her, we didn't cause her any fear, there won't be any pain. No, you take me to her, you take me to her right now! You didn't tell her. <laughs> Basically, That's yeah. That's the bit I have issue with. Yep, me too. Please, you don't understand. I do. I was there when she was born, Joel. I promised her mother that I would save her child, so I do understand. I'm sorry, I have no other choice. Walking onto the highway, leave him there with his pack. Give him this. It's a knife. If he tries anything, shoot him. I really hope, given that we haven't seen the infected in the sewers bit or the tunnel, that we get a fucking Joel rampage right now. Building up to a big If we climax. don't see Joel shoot at least 10 people in the next segment, I'm going to be upset. Just saying, because no one touches his baby girl and gets away with it. Oh, I've got two guys. I know. Not just the one. Okay. He's thinking about it. Yeah. He's thinking, right, how am I going to fuck these two up? Which way? Downstairs. Why do these military types always go with the pushing approach? I mean, obviously, I know they're being they're being like cautious because they know he might try something, but yeah. at the same time, some compassion because you just realise that the girl he's grown close to on this journey is mm. basically. I don't think you could have compassion no, and get the job done. Maybe. The fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said, keep walking. Yes. Yes. Oh, in the knee. Ooh. Where is she? <laughs> Got the knife. Got some rounds. Got his backpack. Let's fucking go. That's two people. Eight more and I'll be happy. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But at the same time, we need a rampage right now. Yes. Okay. He's doing this very calmly. I wasn't doing this section calmly. <laughs> I was not calm in this section. <laughs> Just shows you how ruthless Joel is. Mm-hmm. He's pretty uh, handy in this sort of situation. We've not really seen too much of it throughout this series, and now we are. Yeah. Spartan rage has been activated. <laughs> oh, wow, that guy would have he surrendered. Uh, surrendered, and he doesn't care. Oh, my God. He's oh. run out of bullets, so he's just going to execute him with the knife. And I'm going to steal... I bet he steals the magazine. That works as well. I suppose in this sort of situation, it's a it's a win-win situation because he clearly didn't feel like he'd be able to go on without her now. Yeah. Oh my god, so, the music, which... Yeah, this is the when very is end. When is this music played? The very end. Very end. Well, he killed more than eight people there, so I'm happy. And I liked the decision to play it with the music and in yep. sort of slow-mo a little bit.
Unhook her. How did you get in here? I said unhook her. I won't let you take her. <laughs> unhook her. Cover her arm. Fast. Turn around. No run to the elevator. No. Nope. I was wondering if they were going to do that. Oh, God. Yep. Can't keep her safe forever. No matter how hard you try, no matter how many people you kill, she's going to grow up, Joel. And then you'll die, or she'll leave. Then what? How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? Because she lives in a broken world that you could have saved. Maybe, but it isn't for you to decide. Or you. So what would she decide? Because I think she'd want to do what's right. And you know it. And she might have done, but you didn't give her the fucking choice. Mm-hmm. It's not too late. Even now, even after what you've done, we can still find a way. It's all right. You're with me. Take it slow. The drugs are still wearing off. I was with the fireflies, and then what drugs? You were running some tests on you, and some others. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. The doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. They've actually... <laughs> They've stopped looking for a cure. Where are my clothes? Raiders attacked the hospital. I barely got you out of there. We'll find you some new ones on the way. Are people hurt? Yes. Is Marlene okay? I'm taking this home. Oh, he doesn't even answer that one. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh god, she's still alive. Just like in the game. You've just come after her. I mean, he's not wrong. Yep. But also, wow. Yep. <laughs> back in Wyoming. Yep. Just like that. It seemed a lot easier getting back than it was getting there. Well, they had a car. Close enough. True. We gotta walk the rest of the way. Probably about a five hour hike. But we can manage that. Remember? Yeah. Now, Sarah and I used to hike like this all the time. I wouldn't say it was her favorite thing. She wasn't a fan of the mosquitoes and such. She would have liked you. Not to say the two of you are the same. Definitely different kids. How so? Hmm. Well, she was a lot more. I want to say girly, and I'm not saying that you're not girly. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you're not. <laughs> Fine, you said it first, so right. I will agree with you. Do you know why I think she'd like you? Why? Because you're funny. I think you would have made her laugh. Anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Yeah, bet I would have. All that focus is quite interesting. It's all mm. about what Ellie is for him. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. I hadn't really thought about it like that how selfish Joel's been in a way. Yeah. Not much further now. I mean, I can't blame wait, him as wait. well. Mm -hmm. but. Back in Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. When I got bit in the mall, I, I wasn't on my own. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do, and she says, we can just wait it out, be all poetic, and just lose our minds together. And then she did, and I had to. 
Her name was Riley. She was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It... Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. You can feel like, like you've come to an end. And you don't know what to do next. But if you just keep going, you find something new to fight for. And maybe that's not what you Swear to me. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. Okay. Just like the game. <sighs> Set it up nicely for Last of Us Series 2, which yeah. obviously is confirmed. Which they've said is going to be... Uh, like, there's so much in part two that it's not going to just be one season. So I think oh, right. that's pretty okay. much confirming it for two seasons after this. You can see why, though. They absolutely nailed that. That was a fantastic series. You know, there's always the, the worry and obviously previous history about video game adaptations and things like that or, you know, just not being as good as maybe hoped. Yeah. They have nailed it. See, I know that a lot of gamers have been complaining, well, you, you don't see enough infected to feel like they're really a threat. Mm, true. Which I do get, but at the same time, there's a lot of the story of The Last of Us that is to do with relationships between the characters and about mm -hmm. the love that they have for each other, how they keep going, how they survive. It's not just about infected fights. And I like it doesn't bother me that they chose to focus more on that side of things because yeah. we've always got the game we can play the game exactly that sort of thing works better in the game but i think in this sort of thing you know in reality they wouldn't stand a chance in those sorts of situations in yeah. the same way as it seems be more believable in a game setting yeah how did you feel because i know when we played the game mm -hmm. i came out of it thinking you know what completely side with Joel. I would have done the same thing if it had been my kid going under the knife. They didn't get her consent for the operation and, you know, she was going to die, basically. Mm -hmm. Totally sided with Joel. But then it was just interesting. The, I, I think they slightly changed some of the dialogue when they were walking through the forest uh, on the way back to Wyoming there. And it had a lot of focus on Joel uh, talking about how... I, I think the dialogue was similar in the game, but I think they really drove it home a bit more. they expanded it a bit more. Yeah, that... Basically, Ellie is this surrogate daughter for, you know, she's replacing Sarah, essentially, for Joel, and that he needs Ellie and can't survive, basically, without... Like, Ellie saved him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so he's not willing to give her up. But that just... It put it in so much more of a selfish light than I got from when we played the game, mm. that I'm... I'm torn as to whether he made the right decision. He just didn't seem to register that Ellie might have wanted to make a different decision because of mm. her experiences, you know, with Riley. I mean, I suppose she hadn't told him about Riley. Yep, indeed. But even after she told him about Riley, he then still swore to her that he was telling the truth. Mm. So, oh, just so conflicting. I'd be really keen to hear what... If you've watched along with us and you didn't play the game, what do you think, like... Who's in the right there? Marlene, Joel. Like, what would you have done if you were Joel in that situation? I think it's such a difficult one, and that's what makes it such a fantastic game and yeah. now TV series. And I just, the acting was incredible. The scenery was incredible. The music, I loved the way they used, um, you know, they had giraffe music. They the had, original music, yeah. At the mm. end there, it was the same music that came in. And like, <sighs> and even the sort of changes that they made in the series compared to the game, I feel like it all worked pretty it well. It worked well for TV. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, those hardcore gamers, and us included, like we would have liked to have seen more Infected, but... You know, budgets are a thing. And like you said, for realism purposes, you can't have a horde of infected going after Ellie and Riley because they'd have just got completely nobbled. Yep, indeed. So, I mean, heck, we got our horde of infected, didn't we? In we the did in, epi episode. in episode five. And exactly. they, they escaped from that. They that seemed, barely escaped. I mean, you saw the bloater. Like, there's no way in hell you're beating that thing unless you've got some serious firepower. It's got a rocket launcher or something, yeah. maybe. Um, so I think it was the right decision. But um, yeah, super excited for part two or, yep. or season two, I should say. Um, I've no idea when that, whether they've said when that's coming out. But it's going to be a while. It's going to be probably a couple of years, isn't it? But apparently they have cast Abby. So that's right. exciting. So yeah, let us know what you thought of the uh, the whole series in the comments. And uh, we'll obviously be reacting to season two when that comes out. So yeah, uh, thanks for joining us for this series. Not sure how many TV reactions we're going to be doing to other series. We are primarily a gaming channel after all. But uh, thanks for joining us on this ride. And uh, we'll see you next time. Till then, bye. See ya.